okay so so far what we have uh, discussed over here so as a part of this azure data engineering course we are conducting two programs the one is about the program one and the second one is about the program two program one is a regular azure data engineering training and the program two is about like a, a real time program it's completely focusing on the placement this program is going to be on weekdays monday to friday weekdays monday to friday and this program is going to be weekends saturday and sunday okay so now as a part of this azure data engineering course what are all the services we are going to discuss in the, inside this training we were categorizing those into few are the etl related services few are the storage related services correct so coming to this etl services we were going to discussing about data factory data bricks and uh, live streaming analytics and uh, coming to the storage point of view storage account and a data lake azure sql db azure uh, synapse apart from this storage and etl we are going to cover few more administrative and other services like a key vaults one is about the key vaults and logic caps and uh, sometimes we are using active directory active directory okay and azure functions and finally for a deployment process ci cd pipelines using azure uh, devops azure devops then finally power bi so to design anything example if you want to start your project what is our project we are going to do over here so we are simply whatever the business data we have the business data is generating from the supermarkets i have in us i have another supermarket in india as a customer when i am trying to purchase the products i am going to store all the transaction details transaction details means when a customer is going to a supermarket billing counter purchasing the product the transaction data will come and store into the back end sql database back end sql database it is going to store whatever it is somewhere your transaction data when you are buying a product that information will be stored over here this is going to happen in every supermarket in different locations and my data is in a different locations so this data i want to move into the cloud environment so which cloud environment you are going to use i am going to use the cloud environment it's a microsoft azure i want to copy my entire data into this microsoft azure cloud environment by using some etl tools and storing inside the microsoft azure contains several storage services you can store your data in any of one service over here and how to processing the data from different different servers into this cloud storage by using this etl tools okay so to implement this etl tools what we are looking over here so to implement this services inside the microsoft azure we have a portal right so what is portal name www.portal.azure.com you need to log into this portal and then create the services what services 
whatever the services I have specified over here, one by one you can create and implement your project for processing of the data and storing inside the cloud environment. So to log in and creating the services, definitely are they going to allow free? No. So definitely you need a subscription. What do you mean by subscription? Whatever the services you are creating here, right? You are creating some services. For each service, they are going to charge the amount. So how they are going to charge the amount? The charges you are going to pay through the subscription at the time of the creating a subscription, you are specifying one credit card. For any service when you are creating, then you have to generate a bill from that subscription what you are creating by specifying a credit card over here. So for that reason, we need to create one subscription over here. To create a subscription, what are all the things is required? We need email address and we need a credit card. So there are like a two type of subscriptions available. One is a free subscription. The second one is a paid subscription. We have a free subscription. The second one is a paid subscription. So free subscription, is it required the credit card to specify? Yes. Even if it is a free or paid, definitely you should have one email address and definitely you should have a credit card. You require a credit card over here as well. You require a credit card over here and you require a credit card over here. So is it going to charge in the free subscription also from my credit card? No. The first 30 days, the first 30 days free. When you are creating a paid subscription, when you are creating a paid subscription, from day one onwards, charges for a credit card, charges from a credit card. So what I can do? First, let me the free subscription only. Ideally. The first 30 days it is a free of cost right so definitely i'm going to use this free subscription only instead of going with a paid subscription so what are all the benefits we are getting with free subscription currently this microsoft azure almost having 200 plus services all these 200 plus services are going to be Free for this free subscription. If I am creating today a free subscription, can I access this 200 plus services free of cost? There are little bit terms and conditions available. Out of this 200 plus services, whatever we have, when you are in a free subscription, when you are in free subscription, within 30 days, what are all the benefits they are going to provide for the free subscription is, out of 200 plus services, there are 55 plus services, lifelong free, yes, there are 55 plus services, lifelong free access, not only 30 days, okay, then there are 25 plus services, one year free the remaining services the remaining services needs to pay from day one onwards what is this meaning so i told you 30 days free of right but you are telling apart from this 55 plus 25 we need to pay the remaining services from day one. That means is it going to charge the amount from the credit card if I'm using any of the service from this list? 
is it going to charge the amount from this credit card for this one it will not charge then how the moment when you are creating a free subscription microsoft is giving 200 dollars in indian currency it's almost 14500 rupees credit points to your account they are providing almost 200 plus dollars credit points anything but 14500 rupees they are providing to your account then what do you need to do you have to utilize this 200 dollars amount when you are going to use this remaining services whenever you required this remaining services so we are recommending to use this services with this 200 dollars for example if i am creating any of one service inside this 55 plus services it will not charge anything because those are lifelong free if i am creating 25 plus any of one service it's one year free so it will not charge but apart from this 55 plus 25 any service if i am creating what it will do is it going to charge for my credit card no it is going to use the amount whatever the free credit points 200 dollars amount they are providing to your subscription microsoft so they are giving for practicing purpose 200 dollars okay how long i can use this 200 dollars within 30 days within 30 days for example if i'm not using if i'm not using so that amount 200 dollars within 30 days then what will happen if i am not able to use this 300 dollars within 30 days then the next what will happen can i reuse this amount after 30 days no okay if i am using the 200 dollars within 10 days then what will happen within 10 days if you are using this amount within 10 days if you are using this amount then immediately your account will be disabled okay whenever you are going to use this amount whenever you are going to use this amount within 10 days the 10th day immediately your account will be disabled the 10th day account will be disabled what is this i told you right it's 30 days free right so why we are going to within 10 days my account is going to disable because your amount is over whichever is first either the 30th day either the 30th day or the amount spent whichever is first for example even 30 days you are not able to spend your amount even though the 30th day your account will be disabled over here for example you are spending your amount within 10 days then your account will be disabled i hope it's clear for everyone okay so within this 10 days or 30th days i am not able to consume this amount my account will be disabled or this uh, 30th day account will be disabled so finally my account will, is disabled at 30th day account is disabled at 30th day and what will happen 
from the next day onwards can i use the same account if you want to use the same account you need to upgrade upgrade from free account to free to paid then it will charge the amount from your credit card this upgradation process on the 30th day this upgradation process on the 30th day is it going to automatically happening no it is not going to happen automatically this is going to be happening manually only the moment when 30th day your account is disabled if you want you can able to if you want you can able to upgrade otherwise you can leave that account okay can i create one more free account can i create one more free account over here with the same credit card same email address no one credit card only one time you can able to use for the free subscription if microsoft is understanding the same person is trying to create the free subscription multiple times they will not allow so be cautious whenever you are creating the free subscription second time should not give any information even your mobile number your e email address credit card your names or whatever same system also don't use same ip address also don't use try to use in a different network with a different email address different uh, credit card different turn uh, details you need to provide to get the another free subscription okay you might get a question this course is going to be almost take 2 to 3 months then i am creating this free subscription today then within 30 days the account will be disabled then how can i practice after 30th day so that is the reason what i am doing for example there are 20 people in this session instead of creating all the 20 people today itself the account what you can do simply student 1 student 1 will create a subscription free subscription that account can be used by multiple people so whatever the email address password he is using to create a free subscription right that account details can be shared with the other people as well yes multiple people can able to use the same account at a time for practicing purpose okay at 30th day the account has disabled then student 2 student 2 will create an a free subscription with his credit card that can be shared to the other people so this is how we are going to organizing over here okay this is how we are going to organizing for every student if you all of you for example 20 people created today the account within 30 days all your accounts will be disabled so one question here is why account will be disabled we still have free services to use of course the 30th day account is disabling why you still have lifelong 55 plus services 25 plus services one year free right yes the 55 plus 25 plus services they are giving lifelong free when you are upgrading your free into pro account after you are going to the paid account also they are giving this 55 plus 25 lifelong free that offer is available but you need to convert free to paid then only that will be continued another question what if there is a paid service running then what happens after 30th day if you are using a paid subscription from day one onwards then it will not disable only for the free accounts 30th day it will be disabled will my card be charged or will the account be disabled after 30th day 
okay your question is from the remaining services if i am creating any of one service from this list and the 30th day your account disabled but you already created this remaining services any of one paid service after 30th day what it will happen that is your question is it going to charge from my card or not the moment once your card the moment once your subscription is disabled on the 30th day nothing will be charged your account is in a disable mode you can't create new service and the existing services also you can't use whatever you already created you cannot run and you cannot use once you are upgrading then only you can able to use okay if you want you can cancel this subscription any moment any time you can able to cancel your subscription whenever you want okay perfect so now if you want to create this free subscription what kind of emails i can use can i use gmail yes can i use yahoo mails yes any mail you can able to use can i use the commercial mails of my company yes you can use but ideally i don't recommend to use this kind of emails either you can use your company email or working somewhere or you can use some microsoft email address on microsoft.com email address why in future you are going to use all the services all the services to perform this azure devops ci cd deployment process when you are creating your subscription with this gmail or yahoo mail it will not support that is the reason i am requesting all of you when you are creating a free subscription please use on microsoft.com email addresses don't use the gmail or yahoo mails or any other emails because few services may not be support with that gmail account subscriptions because microsoft is uh, felt like uh, these are these people are like uh, some students gmail when you are using that means you are a student it may not fully giving all the options so that is the reason what i am suggesting please create on microsoft.com email address how to create on microsoft.com email address if you want to create on microsoft.com email address simply goes to www.office365.com do we need this office 365 in this azure not required but why i am creating office365.com is i need one email address so to create a email address i am just going to this office365.com okay so let me goes to office365.com let's go to this chrome this 365 website why i am in just for creating a email address free email address simply you can go office e65.com click on www.office365 this is the first step for generating the email address over here so here you can able for the products under the products for business under the for business goes to pricing for business simply scroll down here you can able to click on it. there is a microsoft 365 business standard 770 here okay so you need to click on try free for one month i don't want this office 365 just to create this try free for one month it will ask a email address that time i will generate one on microsoft.com email address 
that email is I, that email id i will use for the azure simply click on try free for one month under this 770 microsoft 365 business standard model okay simply click on try free for one month okay so here you can specify your gmail account here you can give your gmail okay then click next so after you are clicking on that click on set up account click on set up account so here can you provide all your first name last name job title any information no problem your mobile number you will send one otp company e classes any name you can give company size india click next okay so here it is going to send one otp put your mobile number country code send a verification code enter the verification code click on verify so here it is asking your email address to frame a email address so email address will come like this ram at the rate you need to provide your domain name so what is the domain name you want to give your business name anything you can give software signing dot on microsoft.com let's check whether it is there or not click on save so someone already used this one e classes let me give software e classes let's click on save perfect it is there already sorry some uh, it is not there now we can use this one ram at the rate software e classes dot on microsoft.com is your email address you can give this username your wish domain name your wish anything you can able to keep it over here but you need to verify whether this name is someone already used or not if someone already used earlier to create email address that will not support then provide password your wish then click next my email address is ram at the rate software e classes dot on microsoft.com click next so many people who are the mistake they're doing is after this click next it will generate a email address it will ask the payment over here guys don't do the payment don't do any payment method over here see here it is asking add payment method it is asking add payment method over here don't do any kind of payment method over here just leave it done your email address has created what is your email address 
Tom at the rate software e classes dot on Microsoft dot com. This is the email address. Now we need to create free subscription. To create a Azure free subscription, we have to go to www.azure.com. Okay, let's go to azure.com over here. www.azure.com. Click on that. Okay, so under this azure.com, you can simply click on try Azure for free. So when you are trying to create this Azure free account or paid account, which one you want? If you need a free subscription, click on start free. If you need a paid subscription, pay as you go. Which one you want to go? I want to go with start free. Click on start free. See here. You can see all the details, whatever you want to fill, your personal details and your credit card details. Okay. My question is, when I'm going to create a free subscription, I want to see the list of list of services, whatever the 55 plus services always free, some other services 12 months free, some credit amount 13,300 credit amount these details this services list i want to see what free what not free that if you want to see simply again you can go to azure the azure goes to try azure for free Just scroll down. See here. The 12 months free services, 50 play, 55 plus other services free, all the list you can able to see. Here, this is the list. This is the list you can see. You can, for example, the 55 plus services, if you want to see, click on view all services here. Okay, right. Now coming over here. So you can provide all your country, first name, last name. Your email address is your personal Gmail you can give, no problem. Phone number, text me. It will send one tip over here again. Enter that OTP. Then verify the code. You can provide your company name, any name you can give, e classes, address you can provide. Andhra Pradesh. and I can provide it agree the terms and licenses then click next so you have given all your personal details here correct then after identity verification by card here you need to provide all your credit card information If you guys already having Outlook account or Gmail account, you can create Azure subscription, but I don't recommend to use those email addresses. 
please try to create one on microsoft.com email address and create the free subscription that's my request right see here identity verification by card here you can provide your card holder name card number expiry cvv address everything you can provide then click on sign up see it is asking to provide all the credit card information but i don't have that information i'm not going to provide okay once you are providing all these details your subscription will be created you will receive one message also you should have two lakhs credit amount something like that don't don't, don't fear about that okay after creating the free subscription then where we need to log in where we need to create the services simply have to go to www.portal.azure.com www.portal.azure.com inside this portal www.portal.azure.com inside this portal you need to log in with the email address whichever you used okay let me go to www.portal.azure.com this is the place where we are going to log in every day to create the services enter so it is logging in using the email address whichever you have used see here there is a so simply cancel this one ram at the rate software e classes you can see the account whichever you are using ram at the rate software e classes dot on microsoft.com close this one so whether this after you are providing all your credit card information here whether the free subscription is created or not how you know please log in inside on the top search bar simply goes to the subscriptions click on the subscriptions see i don't have any subscriptions over here i don't have any subscription here the reason because i haven't provided the credit card so i don't uh, get any free subscription if you have then that will be displaying over here so some people what's happening in this step anyhow i haven't given credit card some people when they are giving the credit card information it is displaying successful after sign up but the subscription is not displaying so what you guys do again once you are logging over here click on start with an azure free trial click again start click on start after you are clicking on start again it will ask the same details so try to provide click on start free if not i mean very first time if it is success then fine otherwise try to create again by providing the same information all the your personal details of course the personal details it will not ask click agree click next then give the credit card information again okay when you need to this if your subscription is not enabled where you can check the subscription in your portal under the search operation you don't have any subscription then goes to home then when you are going to the home then again click start why we need a subscription if you want to create any service what are the services available goes to this portal you can, you can see all services simply click on all services it will display all the list of services if you want to create any service definitely there should be a free subscription otherwise you cannot create the any services you can't create a service let me show you see here these are all the list of services available let me try to create any of one service what service you want to create storage account service storage account service means 
I told you right some of the services we are going to discuss in this training. What are those services? The services storage. Where you can find the services? Inside uh, there are so many services. How to find out that one? So instead of searching like this, simply you can go to the search option storage account. Okay, you can go over here on the storage accounts over here. Click on this one. When I'm trying to create this storage account, it is asking to create a free subscription. Otherwise, you can't create. Okay, I have one free subscription account. Let me go to that one. See here. Inside this portal.azure.com, let me go to the search subscriptions. When you are clicking on that, you will be able to see. Here you can see the subscription. It's a free trial subscription. Let me open that subscription. Here you can cancel your subscription anytime when you want. And so far, how much amount you spent, that information you can able to see. Each service wise, how much amount it has consumed, that information you can able to see. And uh, how long this is going to be, 25 days more is there. Later it will expire over here. Okay. And also you can do some cost analysis and you can put some cost alerts as well. Like for example, my account is consuming more than 10,000 or 5,000. I want to put some alerts. Those alerts also you can able to create it over here. So you can cancel the subscription anytime. Okay. So these kind of things you can able to do. Then after I want to create a service, simply goes to the home there are so many services available right you can open all services or whichever the service you want to create simply search for the service i want to create a storage accounts now you can click on the storage then see now you are getting an option create simply click on create so in the next session i will show you how to create service by service one by one here how to create the services one by one let me start with storage accounts data lake sqldb synapse then data factory data bricks and all those things one by one we are going to discuss okay so don't create any account by anyone up to two days i will tell you when you guys needs to create i will choose any of one person to create the account so once your enrollment process is completed then I will share that credentials to all the people by bringing from the other persons. Okay. And uh, yes, today we have a little bit of voice breaking. Sorry for this inconvenience. I have identified the problem, what it is. And I am changing my PC. The issue it is with my PC. Today I am going to change my PC. From tomorrow onwards, you don't have any inconvenience on the network or voice breaking any issues over here okay tomorrow by tomorrow we will fix all these things so someone is asking a question after 30th day is this auto debit is it going to automatically upgrading my account from free to paid no no if you want you can upgrade otherwise it will never it will never charge even single rupee without informing to you you only can upgrade from free to paid then only it is going to be charging the amount from your account okay so this recording video we will share to all of you please watch this recording video one more time and try to understand the concepts over here okay so now if you guys have any questions then you can uh, uh, speak you can ask the questions Go ahead now. Any questions from anyone? And I am requesting one. Uh, hello, Ram sir. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this is Prami. Actually, uh, if you uh, the student one was created the Azure portal dot I mean the subscription. Hmm. So in the student one subscription uh, name, we have created all the services and everything. Hmm. Uh, next thirty first day, it will be visible, right? So we are using student two. 
subscription so then this these are uh, what are the things we are done in the student one subscription mm. are the all the things will look, will uh, deploy into the student two uh, ideally in the free or i need to recreate once again yeah you need to create recreate only because in the free subscriptions you cannot move from one account to another account okay and one okay. more thing mm-hmm. one more suggestion for every student every day whatever you are creating and practicing once your practice is completed you need to delete immediately every service otherwise what will okay. happen it is going to charge that 14500 rupees within 5 days or 6 days if you all of you are using then your account will be disabled in 5 days only so that is the reason what i'm suggesting creation of the service is not a big deal it is just 1 minute or 2 minutes only so every day no. create and delete that i will show you how to create and delete so okay tomorrow yeah, same time uh, same mobile number sorry same link you can use you guys can join exactly every student is going to create a separate uh, uh, source group inside and then uh, it will not disturb other work when the 10 people are working on the same account you can create your services separately so others cannot be disturbed that i will show you how to do so can you confirm the timings on every day yeah so this is like uh, currently this batch is going to be 10 am only 10 to 11 yes 10 to 11 okay any more questions from anyone so this is indrishika yeah go ahead so are you available in office today yes i am available in office so uh, after 1 pm okay. yeah till what time till 6 uh, o'clock i am available Okay, one to six. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Any more questions from anyone? Okay, guys. We will meet tomorrow. so from tomorrow onwards the actual session will start technical session okay so don't miss that sessions so the real time program will start from the next week onwards okay okay thank you thank you guys let's meet tomorrow thank you sir thank you good bye